Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I will be doing another Forzathon guide where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one called I Wanna Be A Rockstar wants you to use RJ Anderson's number 37 Pro 2 truck to complete all of the challenges. Now if you go under your cars it's probably easiest to search under Extreme Off-Road to find it because it comes under its own category called RJ Anderson. Now if you don't have it don't worry you can pick it up in the auto show although it does cost half a million credits but i'm sure you'll be able to find it a bit cheaper in the auction house as well now i've also created a tune for you guys to use if you want to use it uh, share code for this is 771847014 now you don't have to use it but of course a tune always helps now moving on to the first challenge here it just wants you to win two cross-country circuit events which is really really easy now the cross country event that I went for was the rail yard cross country circuit but you have to make sure that you go for a circuit event. So as you can see here the Glen Rannock cross country for example is just a point to point race whereas anything with a little circle around two trees shows it as a circuit event so it's nice and easy. Now what I recommend doing is creating your own blueprint just to one lap uh, but if you don't want to do that I have created one for you here so as you can see the share code is up on your screen now for this but it's really really simple just to create a blueprint and make it one lap instead of three laps the reason i went to the rail yard cross country circuit is purely because it's probably one of the quickest cross country circuit events it's really really easy but you've got to remember as well you don't have to do it on any specific difficulty so it can be on easy uh, or it can be on pro it's entirely down to yourself it really doesn't matter because it's only a forzathon event at the end of the day but all you have to do is win this twice really really simple nice and easy first challenge there now the second challenge wants you to get a total of 15 stars from danger signs which again is really nice and easy so I just filtered my map to show all the danger signs I have available. Now there's quite a lot on the map and there's a lot of really really easy ones but the one that I went for was the Ambleside Edge because to get three stars on here you only have to hit 650 feet so that means that obviously with it being really easy you only have to do this five times which takes barely five minutes if i'm honest um and i'll show you a good way of doing this as well in a second but the best part as well you haven't got to take a massive run up so it doesn't really matter if your truck is tuned or not it will be more than capable of hitting over 650 feet so as you can see here with a fairly shorter run up it just got 740 feet which is well over the target but what you can also do uh, which is actually quite a good tip as well for Falls on Live events is you can go back up to the danger sign and hit it from the other side. Now you'll only end up getting one star but if you do it three times obviously it'll, it'll get you a lot closer and you'll only have to do four runs in total. So it really makes life a bit easier and like I said it's a fantastic tip for Falls on Live events because it always gets you a bit more points uh, but sort of sidetracking there. So anyway the second challenge as you can see here really really easy you don't need a massive run up or anything so the Ambleside Edge danger sign. 650 feet for three stars won't even take you five minutes really really nice and simple second challenge there now moving on to the final challenge which wants you to win a cross country series event at the titan now for those of you who haven't unlocked it the titan is over on the east side of the map here near the lighthouse now to unlock it you have to be i believe it's level 15 or 20 uh, of the cross country sort of levels now in order to level up obviously you just do more cross country races it's very similar to the goliath race um, and the gauntlet as well for the for the dirt racing uh, so you have to be a certain level to unlock this one now when you do come to this race i have created a specific little race for you guys to use uh, as you can see the share code is just on the screen there and it's what i normally do where the ai just go off and do their own little race someplace else leaving you with a straight shot to the finish again it doesn't matter what difficulty you're doing on but it really doesn't matter anyway because the AI pretty much aren't in the race to be honest. Um, so really really nice and easy and all you have to do is just win that once and that's that final challenge completed. Now if you really want to you can do the entire Titan race uh, but that's really down to yourself. At the end of the day I try and show you the quickest uh, and easiest ways to complete this but there's nothing stopping you from completing the entire Titan race. You'll obviously get a nice amount of XP and credits uh, and continue leveling up on your cross country skill level. But apart from that guys, I hope that this video helped you out. Don't forget, coming up a couple of hours after this, I'll be doing a guide into week four's photo competition, so stay tuned for that. If this video did help you out, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing massively helps me out as well. But apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.